just going to go through elephant now. You probably will be fine to have your feet against the shoulder blocks um, because you're a lot taller than me. For me, I just put the roller there to bring me a little bit closer to the footpath. But you would start standing heels against the shoulder blocks, otherwise standing correctly. I'm going to show you my modification and just using the roller behind me. So I'm still kind of pressing into the shoulder blocks. Um, I've got two reds on as well. Um, I'm going to come down a little bit like a roll down, dropping the knees so we're not completely locked out the back of the knees. Hands to the bar. Um, first off, a happier place is flat back. So I'm coming to that neutral shape of the spine. I'm still going to keep the upper body engaged, active, and it's almost like the version we did with the um, roll down bar on the caddy under the tummy. So we've got that sense of lift here. So set up the upper body like this, similar for the knee stretches, and then I'm going to try and keep the upper body still as I move the legs forward and back. I'm attempting to keep my flat back, and it's more that the legs are just swinging like a pendulum from the hip joint. Okay, but there is quite a lot of work involved rather than just the swing. And if you wanted to with the flat back, you could lift the toes, and that gives you a little bit of a neural stretch on the back of the legs, but you don't have to do that. Um, and the other option is you are in more of your round back, your C shape. Watch those shoulders there come up to your ears. I'm kind of disappearing in my jumper. So I'm just trying to keep again that same shape as the legs move forward and back. Good. Finally engaged. And then coming all the way back in. You can bend the knees. You might want to take another counter cat stretch afterwards, shaking out the hands if you need to. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea and to actually see what I've been talking about. Thank you.